Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I am the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in Virtual Sailor Next Generation once again with the beautiful Disney Wonder. We are traveling about ooh, 20 knots for speed right now, so we are hauling as you can see. Lights are on because it is so early in the morning. We got what time is it? It is 7 a.m. That is early to me. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, hi, bug. Ella came and laid underneath my desk. Hi, baby girl. All right. Well, why are we here? Why are we in the middle of the sea? Well, this is why. Because we are just off the coast of Washington right now at 7 a.m. Oh, we, we got a bit. We got a bit to go to be here at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Our arrival actually into Hilo is for 8.30, but it um, it's a little bit trickier to get in there, and you'll see why. Uh, but as somebody has requested, they wanted us to actually give you a view of the Disney Wonder and uh, show you what it kind of like was to be on a day at sea here with us. And actually, you know what? I, you know what? Are, are we going to try it? Are we going to try it? Maybe? Maybe they won't be super choppy. So the problem is the computer can handle it. As you see, we're still sitting around 60 frames per second. The bigger problem that we had was the animation loop would become janky. So you can see it pop. I did find that if we give it enough time, it will uh, straighten out. But I figured, well, let's be up for the sunset, be able to see it. Somebody wanted to see what it was like to be on Disney Wonder from uh, the wee morning to... Afternoon to the evening, so we'll kind of jump around and do that. Uh, we got the waves obviously going now, so it's a little bit of a rocky time as we cross the Pacific. Look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's actually just jump off the ship really quick. Watch it float out hundreds of miles from anywhere. Biggest sphere that you could ever have. As we cruise through the Pacific, uh, I've been lucky enough to cross. I can't say cross because I guess it's kind of halfway, but to be able to cross the Pacific and cross the Atlantic. So that's pretty awesome. And I've also crossed from the Pacific to the Atlantic and the Panama Canal. Very lucky. All right, let's hop on board. She a rocking and rolling. Oh, yeah, you can see where it's trying to load in a little bit. That's okay. Really, I want to jump up here on the deck. Oh yeah, good rock. This is exactly what we were running into um, for our trip as well. Uh, we ran into some very, very rough seas. Yeah, you can see that rocking back and forth here in the aft, but that's just the nature of the Pacific. Of course, I can't put out stabilizers either. That would help a little bit, but we are a cruising. Oh, it happens all the time. Sorry, mouse has picked up a piece of dog fur. <laughs> it stopped working. But we're gonna get ourselves over here, taking a nice walk. Whoo, look at that bounce. Oh, that rocking back and forth. Uh, we'd be so sick. We're gonna play God here in a little bit, so we'll make that go away at least a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some smooth sailing for this video. But I hope you guys are having a good day. I know that I am really happy to be able to be here with you guys for it. Um, I'm excited how to see how this all comes out as well. Very interesting. So the waves do move. It's just the way that, they were, that we're moving. Just, just seeing how I interact with the environment, that's all. But yeah, lights are still on, sun is about to rise, breakfast is open, and the decks would be filled uh, as we head for our beautiful destination. A little chilly, don't get me wrong, a little chilly, uh, but overall beautiful. So, we're going to sit here, we're going to watch the sun rise for a little while. Like I said, we're going to play God just a little bit. There you go, a nice breeze instead of something crazy. Actually, I want to pop down here a little bit further because I know what I want to be looking at. Come on. Come on. You got it. Proud of you. <laughs> All right. There we go. 
Can I have the sun? Can I have the funnel? Let's sit back and uh, watch a little bit of time lapse of that sun rising, shall we? And there you have it, a beautiful sunrise aboard the Disney Wonder in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Washington and Oregon as we head ourselves to Hawaii. Excuse me, my goodness. All right, we got our lights off. Beautiful morning, but it is around 9 now. 8.19, that's fine by me. Let's head to the bridge and let's actually get ready to start our tour around the beautiful Disney Wonder. All right, we are up here on the bridge. Now, we've seen this a lot. Obviously, we've sat here. We've brought this to all of the ports we possibly could in Alaska, and we get to bring it into, once again, uh, Hawaii before Australia coming up very soon. But there's a couple things that I want to be able to point out from the bridge and what we can see from the bridge, like the crew, um, the crew deck that is here, mostly for the officer and the captain's cabins that are directly below us, but I have seen entertainers out here as well, as well as the main crew deck here with a pool, which is now covered for privacy. I appreciate that. I think it's more covered because they go to Panama, and it's hot, and we go to Hawaii, where it's hot. But regardless, it's, it's there. Uh, of course, we have up front, we have one of our... Um, one of our horns here, of course, the Maritime Bell as well, and flag that usually would show the Disney Cruise Line flag uh, while we were at sea, as well as our local radar. Now, I do not know enough about modding in this game to be able to add this from here to up top to be with our other radar, um, because I just don't know. But it's there regardless. The amount of details that I want to be able to show here as well as obviously our up lights on the bridge to make it look pretty uh, when we're at sea, not, uh, sorry, when we're at dock, when, not when we're at sea. And of course then the, you can even see the fluorescent lights around, of course, our spare anchor or our weight anchor, depending on how you want to call it. Obviously the chairs for the crew and their pool. So that's pretty awesome. Of course we do have our windows with our windshield wipers, which are not active. Um, up here in the bridge as well. And then, of course, we have... This is a giant compass, by the way. And a little little fact. Long time ago, long, long, long time ago, this was actually open. And there was a walking area up here for crew. Once again, uh, this is now closed and it's now the fitness area. How times change. Sorry, I clicked out of the game really quick. And, of course, we can sit and enjoy our view as we head out to the vast nothingness that is the ocean. All right. <laughs> Let's walk around here. We got a couple hats. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look around. Plant. Got to love a plant. Keeping that alive. All right. So this is where I'm going to get nitpicky, okay? Okay. So uh, we're here at the christening ceremony for this one. I since it's outside, this looks like the Disney Magic. I think the Disney Wonder was built inside. I can't 100% remember. 
Mm, still in a dry dock area. It could be. It's actually. Yep, this is Disney. There we go. Sorry. There's, there's part of the wall segment there, which is sideways, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Let's pop in here. Yep. You can see the the stern work here. Ah, uh, stern work. Ha! The bow art here <laughs> built into the steel. Uh, so that's pretty awesome as well. Let's pop on over. Is this where I got to get finicky? Because there's the beautiful Disney Wonder. This was before she was finished, by the way. Let's take a look here if we can get really close. This is on her on her crossing or sea trials. I can't remember of this photo. Um, but as you can see, she looks beautiful. Um, but it's just amazing because she's not done yet. We still got the glass up front being uh, covered. We don't have all of the funnels on yet completely. The funnels have not been painted black yet. Um, which is funny because I actually have a personal picture of um, the funnels looking like this as well. Uh, from the 2003, 2004, when uh, they used to do a lot of this work um, before dry docks and stuff like that. Uh, it was actually missing this whole carriage up here. Um, let's see what else is missing. The zip line is obviously missing. Uh, this is back when this was sing Signals. I know Signals has been moved down. The original water slide. It's all I can really find, find from here. But it, it's just so funny to be able to look at it and be like, wow, this is what you were. And I remember you this. And you're still with us. So I'm happy for that. Let's peek on down to this last picture. This is actually the Disney Magic. So this is shortly after uh, the Disney Magic uh, because it was built in two halves, was put together. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome to see as well. An amazing documentary if you ever look up the making of the Disney Cruise Line, the original. Gives you a great story on this as well. Then, of course, we have uh, Miguel Murdoch, the person who built this ship. This one. <laughs> and ships him. Um, then, of course, we've got uh, some charts and some computers and stuff, trying to always make it uh, a little bit more realistic. Let's see, what is this? This is a weather report. Where are we, though? Where are we in the... Whoop, don't look through. Okay, so we got Newfoundland over here, Nova Scotia. So this is for the crossing. These are the different crossing... This is the different shipping lanes that go across, obviously. So that's really interesting. England, Ireland, France, Spain. Um, that'll be fun to actually go over there and do a European cruise as well. I know we got a couple Europeans in the house, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, where are we here? Can I can I tell? I'm looking right through it. Martin Express. Aldebron. Maybe. Alright, let's continue walking on. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So we got some more data. I got dates. 2003, 2003. This is a log. More shipping charts. Nice hat. The original Mickey Whistles uh, buttons were 100%. Looked just like this, roughly. Of course, main wheel in the front, because this is a uh, dual propeller uh, with rudder instead of Azipons, due to the years that this was built. I kind of wish that I could swap some of these out for actual charts. Now, I swear at one point I was able to have one doing the bells and whistles but obviously I can't remember but it'd be cool to be able to swap these out nice detail obviously in the radio non-functional displays here obviously um, so there is that to remember I guess actually peek over here way it's been we've got a little office area as I walk through the wall that's fine still again same nav charts and weather reports as before as we had it. I mean, it's just a beautiful day to see now that we were able to turn the wind down a little bit. More nav charts, more nav charts. This is actually a lighting display panel. Turn on the different lights on the exterior of the ship, navigation wise at least. <coughs> and then, of course, we have a beautiful Disney Wonder model sitting here. That puts a smile on my face. That, that's, that's cool. Then, of course, another office area here. Which definitely feels more like a desk to summon sit and chit chat because there's a door here for some reason. <coughs> and then, of course, we have outside on the wings. These steps are actually no longer. There used to be steps right up from deck 10, uh, deck 9, sorry, that would come down. It's been adjusted a bit. 
I love to be able to sit here and watch them work, which is always a little awkward. Cause it's like, I'm watching you work. Thanks for not coming to my work and watching me work. Uh, <laughs> uh, what a beautiful view and beautiful day in general. Just look at that. Mm. All right. Back inside the bridge we go. A little slowed down now. It's a little interesting. Boop. All right. Now, one of these leads to a hallway. Is it this one? Yes. Another world map. I can't remember. Is there anything through this door? Yes. Okay. We got more doors. Here we go. Now we get to play the game. What goes where? Here we go. Does this go to anything? No. What about you? I know you don't, but for the fun of it. See? Look. Rudder. Do okay. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. This. This is what's happening. This is what's pushing us. No. Okay. And there's the stabilizers, which makes me so mad because you can actually see them in there. <laughs> That's what sucks. I'm like, oh, can we just find a way that they work, maybe? I think all of these stores are empty. Yeah, they, it's, it's this one down here. It's down the hallway. Um, so I'd love to be able to see that work, but you know, c'est la vie. Nothing here. I don't think anything's through this door either, but we'll take a peek. Nope. Well. Uh, let's go down a deck, shall we? We'll he start heading down to our quarters as captain. But first, we'll take a little walk out here on that crew deck like I was telling you about. So here's this crew deck that I was talking about, not the main crew deck, but I guess I, I'd call it an officer's perch. Let's call it that. Obviously, the bridge is here, fitness center's here, deck nine's right up here. I'm usually right there all the time, anytime. So yeah, I'd be able to come out and just be able to get some air and just enjoy not being with the guests for a little while. <laughs> let's pop back in. Let's head back down this little hallway here. I know that I showed this in the Discover Wonder series, by the way, so there'll be a lot of just walking around and, and, and taking in what is the Disney Wonder here, just so that you are aware. Uh, I don't want to go in here yet. Let's pop over here. Hmm, there is one thing that's missing. Oh, I just couldn't, fi I couldn't see the door. I'm getting all turned around here. So there's a door. Welcome to the HR room. <laughs> so it feels. And then does it go into a meeting room? Yeah. More of a meeting room. This definitely feels like more office -y space. I wouldn't say exactly captain space, but it definitely goes from secretary to big boss. It might be the hotel director, to be honest, but usually they're closer, as far as I remember, to um, guest services itself. Oh, I went through the wrong door. Go back in. Go back in. Too far in. Why do I? Why am I trusted to do anything? Let's pop in here. Bam! Welcome to the cabin for the captain. So we have the beautiful, obviously the uh, established Disney Cruise Line art, which just brings me so much nostalgia because it's like, hey, I remember seeing that. I'm old as shit, <laughs> as it were. And then we got obviously a little bar area here, a uh, book here on the Queen Elizabeth classic beautiful portrait of the Disney wonder itself which I also have a copy of I feel like I gotta start hanging this stuff up in the new house once it's built coming over here of course we got a couple port holes to be able to have some views the Disney wonder and transit and this is definitely during a christening ceremony of the Disney wonder as well beautiful just great details that this person put in making this model um, again, the model of the Disney Wonder. We got a book over here, which looks like it's got Walt on it. So the big boss. Uh, oop. Screwed that up. Fly upward. Look downward. Yes. By Neil Gabler. Walt Disney, the biography. That, that'd be a cool read, I think. That'd be pretty cool. Of course, a nice and little dining area as well. Let's pop around here. Living in some class, as it were. We do have our own door that would bring us out deck side to uh, the officer uh, perch, as we've been calling it. So we come over and around. 
Over and in. Bam. Bedroom. Window. Doesn't even get a balcony. I mean, the whole ship can be his balcony, but that's besides the point. Uh, then we've got a classic map of the West Indies and the Bahamas. Castaways, right? Let me actually see if I know got this right. Nassau's here, so right there. <laughs> Took a little little bit to figure out where that was. Let's pop over here. I think we have a bathroom. Nope, nope, that's an empty door. Bathroom. Hmm, I thought we did. But yeah, so we got our own little captain quarters, which is really cool. If you're doing some long cruises, obviously, with some days at sea, it's very neat to be able to explore as well. I'm going to pop through break reality a little bit. I just want to see if I'm missing anything over here. I know, shocker, that I don't know everything by heart. I definitely do not. I'm going to pop back in. Nope, that's it. All right, let me just phase through the floor, back up the stairs, and uh, let's head out on, you know what, let's start out on deck 10. Oh yeah, that was the other spot that I was supposed to get. I completely forgot about coming up the stairs. Uh, conference room. Yep. All right, let's head up to deck 10, uh, to the front of the ship, and we'll take a walk around the beautiful Disney Wonder. All right, we are up at my favorite part here on the ship. We are here at deck 10 forward. Just being able to take it all in. This is my favorite spot just to see where we're going and what is next, which has become a really big crutch for me. Unfortunately, I was thinking about this. It's like, man, we always, we, not always, but we sometimes have a veranda and I barely use it because I'm like, I got to sit here. The, the view could be just as good looking out in this way. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, here we are forward. Uh, a couple, a couple of these lights actually work. Hidden Mickey. No idea what this is, but it makes me really happy. Uh, <laughs> I'm no, no way a uh, ship expert. Well, let's take a stroll here on deck ten. Let's take it all in, and I can give you the best tour that I possibly can. So we have obviously got glass up here, which is funny because it used to be a little bit shorter um, and didn't have these little winglets. This is when we started going up to Alaska and started going to cold after this was just in the Caribbean for its whole life. Well, actually, the wonder was in the Bahamas most of its life. Um, we've obviously got a, what I call a heat canopy here, uh, which is great. D depending on the ship and at least the year, one time it was vinyl, so it kept the heat out and kept the water out. And then I've been here on the ship where it's been mesh before and it doesn't keep the water out. Uh, usually there's a couple ping pong tables up here as well basketball court that they have here as glass it is not glass it is netting on board and of course boom hidden mickey boom mickey there's a mickey at the front of the ship that i didn't even get a chance to talk to you about <laughs> but basketball court and uh regular play area here uh this is used a lot for the kids um <coughs> excuse me the kids activities as we head on over these are uh, speakers and lights to be able to play ambient music in each area and to keep the deck lit up beautifully at night. Gonna pop over here, satellite ball, satellite ball, working radar, nice, as well as foghorn right there. And we also have the plaque. Fantastic! This is where the ship was made. Ship number 5,990 in 1999. Uh, all the ships post there have been made at Merrift in Germany or Netherlands. Don't second guess me. Uh, <laughs> that's where all the new ships have been made. And the Treasure actually just got its final piece the other day. I'm very excited to uh, to see that ship and, and play with that ship. Hopefully, I'm hoping Alex makes it the person who made the Disney Wish. Even if I've got to pay them to make the Treasure. Should be just the rename. Um, the flag that'll fly on the uh, starboard side of the ship is always the country that they are in. It does change day to day, as well as the Disney flag as well. Now let's see. This is actually maritime flag, blue white cross. Okay. So what I'm seeing here. It's the flag of Scotland. <laughs> yep, 
that is, uh, that's all that I'm getting. I thought I was going to get some sort of maritime. Um, hmm. I don't know my maritime flags anymore. Used to. Long time ago. All right, let's continue on the down the deck. There's a little ramp that goes here, which has always been a little fascinating to me. I've sat here like a total of twice. I don't know why. I think it's just, why would you sit if you're on vacation? Come on. Uh, coming down here, continuing on deck 10. Beautiful day for this. Elevators are in here as well as the entrance to the fitness center and uh, the census spa, uh, which is beautiful and amazing. And I'm not usually a spa person, but big fan. Uh, this is what signals got turned into. We had signals down here. There was the signals up here as well. Uh, this is now a the Cove Cafe over on this side on the bottom. This is now a uh, concierge area, which now is two stories, actually. It goes up one more. Uh, there's some seating up top. Uh, go through, staircase here for forward. We have the adult pool. We'll take a little bit look at later. Of course, we do have the funnel with, of course, the infamous Mickey whistles or the Mickey horns because they are horns, not whistles. I'm okay. I'm okay. You can't tell me anything different. I'm okay. All right. Let's continue our journey down the vessel here again. Beautiful detail. Great to feel like we're at sea and just enjoying a day. I'm glad somebody had us do this. I know it's a lot of talking and I promise the next episode we'll be pulling into Hilo and it shall be beautiful and amazing. Um, but just to be able to see the scale, obviously, the, the faux stacks here. And the amount of detail that this person put into this uh, design, I, I still, like, I nod my head to them, like, thank you. And I was glad that to be able to have access to this, and I'd love to be able to share this with you guys. I don't feel like I should have gotten it, but nobody's actually sat down and, and talked about this model. I've seen only a handful of people actually use it uh, in video, so... A little bit there. All right, we are at midship now. I should also talk about these. These are um, these are crew bins. These are usually hold straps and other pieces of equipment. Um, modern day, this is actually subs. Well, it used to be. I don't actually think they actually got taken out. Subs to fill in the audio for um, when there's dance parties and stuff like that. And of course, this is just trash bin and towel bins as well. Let's take a peek over. We'll take a look a little bit more when we're down there. Um, this is Edge. It used to be the teen area. Now I'm not 100% sure. Before that, it was the NFL Skybox, which was a bar. Very short-lived. Um, and, of course, the addition of the big screen to play first-rate movies and uh, speaker clusters here. The main dance stage, usually the DJs over here for technician-wise. There's character op photo ops that usually are happening here. And then, of course, we get to the pool. This is the Goofy Pool. This is the Family Pool. The one that was over there was the adults only. Included with two Whirlpool hot tubs and, of course, ah, I forgot the signs only on that side, the Pinocchio's Pizzeria. We'll take a look once we're down there, obviously. Uh, this can actually close to become the main sail away celebration, I should say. It becomes a dance stage uh, for your event. Also, these, um, these duck work here to look classic. They actually do have function. They do actually circulate air. Um, fun fact for me, I remember when this staircase wasn't here. Weird. I know. Makes me feel old because I remember when we got back on the ship and I went, wait, wasn't that, didn't this not used to be here? <laughs> old. Of course, funnel number two, the actual funnel with working smoke effect. Fantastic. Coming on over, let's get our body around the wind breaks here. In case anything was to be flowing down the deck. This also helps divide the sections. We are now in the kids section. Included with Mickey Pool, Mickey Hand, Mickey Slide. Uh, this f originally was a bar, which was hilarious because it was in the family area. Um, then it became another side of... Pete's Bites, because Pluto's Doghouse is on the other side, now making myself ungodly hungry. I have not eaten today. Shame on me. It's 2 o'clock. I only got a couple more hours till food. Then, of course, boom, there's the big boss, the big cheese, Mickey Mouse himself. Um, I'm a little sad because they definitely took away some of the theming. Uh, so these were originally painted black, obviously, to look like Mickey. 
they have changed it to a blue. And I think that's just because of heat and, you know, kids touching things that were hot. But, of course, pit, picture of Goofy, always a good time. As we head on back around to finish up deck 10. All right. So two things I want to be able to show you here. Bam, Palos, the adult-only uh, Italian bistro in the back. I guess a restaurant. More restaurant. Uh, then bistro, adults only, 18 and older. I'll talk about that in a second. Dang it, I went in the wrong door. If you have too many doors here, I'm not going to know what I'm doing. I want to be able to show you this first as well. So if we could pop in, we can head up the stairs, head up the stairs, internet ball. And bam, we've got lifeboats up here. Yeah, it makes you feel good, huh? Rafts all the way up here. I have been on a Disney Cruise Line voyage where... One has broken free. Yeah, stuff happens when you're a moving city out in the middle of the ocean. I'm also very excited to be able to show you uh, when this video is done because we've been sailing this whole entire time. Oh, God, look at that view first off. I wish it would be a little bit more realistic and shoot out, but that's that's amazing. Um, let's pop on over here. Do, 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 do. Uh, I can't wait to be able to show you how far we've traveled because it, it feels like a lot because we've been going and going and going and going chattery water um but really it's gonna be minuscule and then of course these are brand new as well i'm putting quotes around that brand new to when it was made uh this is where the fireworks are shot off for pirates night which will be uh post helo actually so i'm very excited to be able to share that with you guys i'm going to break the immersion and fly down here a little bit so we got Paulo in this restaurant here. In this glass, you could actually used to look down to the buffet. This has been extended now. This deck actually goes all the way back, really rounds out the rear. Same thing with this one. It took away my favorite little hiding spot I'll tell you about here in a little bit. But of course, you also have chairs for the Cabana's buffet. Now this happens every once in a while. It's very interesting. It, it's only looking in a certain direction at a certain level but the railings disappear and I've never been able to figure it out but let's pop over here to where we know the railing is and this used to be my favorite spot right here <clears throat> this was on deck 7 all the way aft it was just a door at the end of the hallway never said do not enter and you were able to come out uh, le legend legend has it this used to be one of the only smoking areas available on the ship that is now on deck 4 and deck 10 on the uh, port side of the ship. But this is where I was hoping Danielle and I could be married. And when we went on the Disney Magic, it was right after the renovation when they added the ducktail on the end. And they said the Deck 7 space is no longer available due to it no longer being in existence because they filled in this area and they filled in this area that I'm standing in right now. And this deck came all the way back. <coughs> An equivalent to that. Let me pop on up here. Danielle and I were married. Right here. The equivalent of right here. <laughs> In 2016 on the Disney Magic. But uh, let's pop ourselves downstairs. Walk by Cabanas. Cabanas has been expanded, which goes all the way out now. So this passageway is no longer here, but it used to be. I remember... <clears throat> um, to just give a little bit more space, which was 100% needed. Cabanas being the only all-you-can-eat buffet on Disney Cruise Line for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dinner was more of a sit-down. They definitely needed more space. So we're going to take a walk down here now on deck number nine. You'll never forget the feeling of this deck. It is not wood. It is rubber, which is just fascinating. Go in here to Cabana and the aft lifts. We've got Pluto's Doghouse, which is an eatery right here. I just remembered. Did I pass it? Huh. Here now, as I say, now that it's been expanded over, it, it expands to here. Here is a deli. It used to be called Goofy's Deli. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Goofy's Deli here. This is now, I think, Daisy's Delights. And ice cream. <laughs> is there as well. Uh, soda fountains are over here. You can actually see them in that uh, area. I'm going to walk down on the starboard side of the ship just because I want to be able to uh, show you a handful of things on this side. 
yeah, drink stations over here, coffee, Coke products, fountain drinks, all included, which is a big thing. Uh, so we have uh, Pluto's Doghouse here. These did not used to be here. And I'm trying to actually imagine if they are here now. I think they are. They're just like a smoothie place now. Yeah, that sounds right. As we pop over here... Oh. I swear there was a sign for this. Did I accidentally, accidentally delete it at some point? Uh-oh. Well, let's pop up here. Obviously, first-run movies, because Disney owns them all, especially now. Uh, you can watch them right from the hot tub. Get a great slice of pizza, a small bar there as well. Uh, again, not the best pizza, but you'll go back for more. That's all that matters. <laughs> Be like McDonald's. Get the lowest common denominator. People will love it anyway. Let's head on over here past the family pool and we'll continue our walk forward. After that, unfortunately, the only place that I have to show you will be deck four, which is the lifeboat deck, and both sides are the same. So we'll show you one, then I'll show you a very special spot. Uh, well, quote-unquote special spot. If you jog, you'll know where it is. But we're going to head down here, tell you a little bit more history about the Disney Wonder or what it used to be. Uh, right here, this used to be an arcade. Nope, lied. Yes, wait, hold on. Let my brain think. My brain's going to process really quick. Yes. This used to be an arcade. Now, it's a little bit wonkily set up, but the arcade was here, and it would go to the midship lifts as well. <clears throat> I love this arcade because they turned the difficulty of the games down so the kids would win. Claw machines, guessing games, and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun as a child, and I remember they had a Jurassic Park 3 uh, like gun game, and I used to play it all the time. Beginning of the trip, spend, I think it was... 40 bucks because like I'd have a certain amount that I'd save up to buy souvenirs and that'd be part of it. I'd buy this game pass. It would last me the whole cruise because it was like 25 cents a game. Kept it realistic and that's really what matters. Um, this is now a tween club. has been changed which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, signals bar right here as well here in the adult only pool with two hot tubs included. Favorite thing, and I think I've got a video of it somewhere. Maybe, uh, maybe I got a photo and video that I can post. Not here, but eventually. Uh, <clears throat> traveling with a service dog comes with its complications, meaning that if we all want to go swimming, uh, I can't leave Ella in the room, and Ella likes people too much <laughs> that she'd just be like, "Oh, somebody will pet me." She'd stay where I told her to stay, but she'd be like, "Will you pet me?" I have some video. <clears throat> Belle, my last service dog. Right here on a chair. Right there. She, I just sat her here. Kind of put a little nest of blankets around her. Told her to stay. All four of us went swimming. I could see her. She could see me. She was never bothered. She never got bothered. The good old days. Is it slightly irresponsible? Yes, because anybody could have grabbed her. But we got to trust that adults will do the right thing. Coming forward now. Um... <clears throat> That's it. That is it, because this is actually closed off now. It has always been closed off as we would head forward to the crew area. And then you can head to the uh, forward elevators. We're going to hop on an elevator. We're going to head down to deck four to continue out this tour here on the Disney Wonder. All right. We just came out of the forward elevators here down on deck four, the lifeboat deck. I'll tell you a little bit about what's forward. Um, forward is the anchor room. Really, this jogging track goes all the way around the ship, 360 degrees. That's where we're standing right now. You'd head down there, it'd go into the bow. As long as they are not anchor operations or in the process of mooring or anything that could be dangerous to people, uh, you can actually go all the way around. You can actually see all the lines, all the equipment, all the chains for the anchors. It's very cool to be able to head down to the bow before you go around. But here is the boat deck here on the beautiful Disney Wonder. As we head down... Uh, spent many a time here for two reasons. One, this is one of the great ways to be outside, away from people. Used to be. Um, and you can play shuffleboard. There's uh, two shuffleboard matches, pitches, pitches, games, courts, courts. That sounds right. Shuffleboard courts. <laughs> uh, one on each side of the ship, which we'd always play a lot as a family. Never good at it. Really only started actually playing it like the way it was supposed to. Um, for the last couple years, so <laughs> there's that. This is the midship elevators right here um, to head into the main atrium that is here as well as we continue our journey down on the starboard side of the ship. 
Um, Danielle and I took one of my favorite of our wedding photos here, sitting in some deck chairs that were here, and uh, we had a pillow, our, our ring-bearing pillow with both of our rings on it, taking a beautiful picture as well, um, and an, an amazing experience that I can't say turned into tragedy. We, we, we had some issues, unfortunately, uh, with the cruise line, with where we were going, with the guests that we had with us. It was um, it was an experience that, unfortunately, we have to look back on and say, yep, we got married, happiest day of our lives. That was the only benefit that we had from it. We didn't go to our right destination. We didn't do anything like that. I realized just now, in the middle of me talking, thank you if you made it this far, water fountain. There's not a water fountain there. Um... <laughs> that I did not actually tell the story of how I broke my back. We'll do it next episode. You'll just have to wait another week. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was a lot of drama. So I'm happy to be here on the Disney Wonder instead of the Disney Magic. Here to the aft elevators, and if you go down and to the uh, left, I should say, you'll head to Animator's Palette. But heading down here, like I said, the jogging track, I'm going the uh, wrong direction, as it were. By the way, lifeboats, in case you didn't grasp that. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. As we head down, um, it does go all the way around. Now, what do I want to show you? I know that I showed you in the uh, preview video of the Disney Wonder, but I want to be able to show it to you again. I think we went to a more in-depth analysis of the Disney Wonder on this uh, journey than we had before. Right back here in the back side of the ship, this is built out a little bit more. This one's definitely more solid walls. But right about here, this wall is actually pushed out a little bit more. Or they took some of the jogging track away. That actually sounds more correct. So right here <coughs> is actually where Ella's potty spot is. This is where she will come. It is a box that is filled with either mulch, fake grass. Uh, we've had alfalfa pellets before. Um... But this is, this is the age-old mystery of where does she go to the bathroom on the ship? Bam, there it is. Ta-da! Watch her videos. You'll see where it is. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the beautiful Disney Wonder, that's it. That is all that I can show you. I mean, I can show you a little bit of the crew area. I realized I didn't show you much of that. There it is! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> nothing else I can really show you on that one. But she's a beautiful ship. She's a beautiful ship for us to be able to play and hang out with um, and, and spend our day with, which has been pretty pretty spectacular. Oh, there is one more thing that we can do. I know it's not exactly noon, seeing as it's only 9 a.m. By the way, this is how much we've traveled since we've been talking. That. That's how much further we got to go. It is a long, long way. Into the middle, like literally, it makes the Atlantic Crossing look small. It's not. It's the same amount, roughly. Uh, but it's it's so cool. Uh, there's one more thing that we can do. Let's pop out here on deck. Oops. <laughs> Leaving the ship behind. At noontime, the ship whistle is rang. This is the duty officer speaking from the bridge. We'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. For those of you on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Again, we'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. And for those of you that are on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Thank you for your attention. There it is, noon. That means it's also time me to give a little bit of a speech. I realized I never gave one as we departed because, again, it's a sail away. But I definitely know that I need to do one now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is your captain speaking from the bridge. Captain Zach, welcome, oh, first off, aboard the beautiful Disney Wonder for our first of five days at sea as we head towards Hawaii. I would like to take this point to uh, give you all a little bit of information here at noontime to let you know our current location, the weather, 
And so what we got planned today, our cruise director, Emily, will be popping on right afterwards to let you know of all the activities that are happening around the ship. It's currently 9 a.m. Welcome. Good morning. Whoops. <laughs> we are currently at uh, 46, 43 degrees north, 127, 18 degrees west. We have traveled uh, roughly 200 miles from our original departure in Vancouver at 4 p.m. yesterday. We are 116 hours from our destination of Hilo in Hawaii. We are with 2,332 nautical miles to cross the Pacific. The weather out on deck is a beautiful day for us here. The wind's at about seven knots. Visibility is good and the wind is coming from the east. Should be a beautiful day here aboard the beautiful Disney Wonder. We hope that you have a magical time and we will see you tomorrow. Captain out. Now I have to add the captain out because literally I heard our last captain on the Disney Wonder actually say that and it just, it made me giggle. But that is going to do it for our portion. As I did promise somebody, we will get a sunset uh, starboard side of the ship. We'll close it out with that. A little bit of music. And um, we'll see the ship at night, too. So, you know what? Let's see a sunset. Sunset, shall we? All right. We are up here on the deck of the Disney Wonder. It has been a beautiful day. I'm realizing. Boop. Uh, boop. <laughs> Let's get some lights on. Turn off the flood. Let's add our exterior lights and scheme as well. Beautiful night and a beautiful view for a sunset. I'll see you guys afterwards. We'll see you when it's uh, pitch black at night and you guys get to see what that looks like as well. There was a beautiful sunset here in the middle of the Pacific as we still had our way to Hawaii. Again, this was day one at sea. We still got four more. You guys don't have to sit around for it because your next uh, video, the next time I'll see you, we'll be pulling into Hilo for our first stop in Hawaii. We'll be there from 8.30 a.m. to 4.45, so a relatively, what I would call relatively short port day. It's going to be beautiful. I wanted to also be able to show you the Disney Wonder at night. Yeah, it looks nice, right? Yeah. We even got all the lifeboat signs lit up. It looks fantastic. Let me show you a couple things. One, this is on by default. This is where your character is. Turn that off. If you want a closer to real experience, because the last time a ship looked like this, it's actually a long time ago. There's a lot of lights now that bounce off the water and, and you know make everything look even more spectacular than it already does. You can actually come in here, turn on the floodlight. It's a little bit closer to what it, it feels like to actually see as it goes by. As you are further away, you won't see that as much. So eh, it's an in-between, but you'll know from the two funnels which ship 100% that you're looking at. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, we do try to get a video out here every single day out here on the channel. And we really do appreciate y'all's continued support here on the channel and here with this series with uh, Virtual Sailor. And the next time we'll see you will be in Hawaii. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.